Good morning, good morning, or may I say good afternoon. Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I just want to get on here and actually encourage everyone. You know, you guys, life is too short to be running after anything or anyone that's not of God. Life is too short to be playing games. Life is too short. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I don't know if you guys are really paying attention to all the evil that's going on. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. All the news. Why do you think it's on there? Why do you think what's happening? And hold on. It's not just about it being a month of Halloween. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This is a certain evil. Evil has been unleashed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So what you going to do? How long? How long, says the Lord, you're going to keep playing? How long are you going to keep wavering between two opinions? How long, said the Lord, come on, somebody, hallelujah, we don't have time to play. I know you think we do, but we don't. Your day could be any day, any time, any moment, thus said the Lord, come on, somebody, hallelujah. It is time to be mindful, mindful of the time that's at, at hand, mindful of the way you treat people, mindful of being really connected to God. I have to say something. Oh, my God. This is really not funny, and I made a statement about it last night. I am blown away how people don't know the spirit of God and right there in church. I don't even want to hear it. I am blown away how many people are not anointed. Hold on. This is not a bashing. This is not that like I'm all that. I'm amazed how many people sit right there in the church and don't know the spirit of God. I am amazed how many people don't even have discernment. I am amazed how y'all let people sit on Facebook and lie to you. And I'll be watching some of you false prophets too. Y'all sitting up there, God going to get you. I'm just looking at you like, you deceived. You're tainted. Because if you don't know, lying to God's people and lying about God, giving false prophets, just lying, just lying. And all of this is about status. Let's be honest, it's about status, money, everything. And I'm telling you right now, there's a sense of urgency in my spirit. And what I keep hearing God says is, tell him to get it right. Tell him to stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. You, you, I don't know if you've been following me for such a time, but I do know this. Everything I've ever said have came true, but one thing, and that is yet to come. It didn't come in the timing, but it's coming. And you see when that person get back in office, <laughs> and you see when martial law come and all that stuff, it's going to be so sad, but you're going to see the greatest awakening that you've ever seen. Cause now people are going to be like, Oh my God. Oh my God. You know, you come on. Let, let, can, can I, can I just tell you something before I get off of here? Something always got to happen before y'all believe. Oh, come on. Somebody that's been since Genesis all the way to revelation. You honestly don't believe it until it happens. And then when it happens, everybody crying and everybody trying to run around, trying to figure out what to do, how to do it. I'm telling you right now, you better figure it out before it happened. So all I'm saying is stop playing. Get closer to God. Love your family. That's another thing God was telling me about family. You guys will give a stranger a pass before you give family a pass. Start to love your family. Even the ones that are not right, just pray for them. Leave them alone, just pray for them. You ain't got to bash them. You guys got to find the love again, even in the church. I'm just telling you what God says. So I pray. Whew. I'm, I'm just praying for everybody. I'm just praying for everybody because we're living in some perilous times. You guys don't even see it. I told you, I made a video. You guys remember when I said, when that alert, I'm going to reiterate it. When that presidential alert went out, they're ready. All they waiting is for the thumbs up when they get ready. And you see when they do what they do? I just hope you know God. That's it. I'm not going to preach a long time on here. I just know, hope that you, and pray that everything that you've been doing is of God. Because if it's not, you're going to find out how dedicated you really are, how rooted you really are, how anointed you really are. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that God bless you. God keep you. Learn to love each other. Learn to forgive each other. Learn to get closer to God. Stop playing. Treat people with kindness. Treat people how you want to be treated. Because I'm going to tell you right now, this is the season to stop all that. Some of you guys be with people you know don't love you more than the man in the moon. But yet, because of who knows, maybe financial reasons, maybe family reasons, maybe personal reasons. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not even doing that anymore. Mm -mm. 
If you don't mean me any good, I'ma still love you, but I ain't fooling with you. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all better quit playing. Playtime over with. Playtime is over with. So God bless you. And these are truly the last days. I hope you see it. I hope you see it. Hope you understand it. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. This ain't no time to play. Playtime been over. The devil is here. And he is reigning. Because this is his world. God is the God of everything. But this is his world. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Alrighty, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Love you with the love of Christ. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Pray always fast. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. These are the days. It's getting hot out here. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's hot out here. Y'all don't see that evil? And, and thank you, Lord, I hear you. You got to keep your family covered. Keep your children covered. Anything could pop off at any time. Do you understand? You could be in the stove. Be alert. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to tell you one last thing. I'm like a radar. And I think that's why people don't, you know, they don't like me because I'm going to see through you. Honey, if I feel something, I could be, you could be behind me. I'm going to turn around and see, okay, what's going on? That's the way we all should be when you have the spirit and the discernment of God. You're supposed to feel it. Thank you, Lord. Your spirit's supposed to feel it before your flesh even know it. Hallelujah. So if you don't have that, you need to ask God why. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real lot soldiers for that is truly who you are. Come on now. God bless.